from the Signature Bank Studios. This is Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson. If you're looking for the latest news, insight into what it means, and the sharpest opinion, there's only one station in Chicago where you can turn, and it's this one. We're AM560, The Answer. Top of the morning, Dan and Amy, four people you've never heard of got convicted of public corruption yesterday. The ComEd 4. And it's a uh, undercard to the Madigan, Mike Madigan corruption trial next year. So uh, people are real excited. Okay. (laughs) Well, people want Madigan to go down, and this is a step in the right direction. Is it? All this combine hand-wringing, particularly from the suburbs, about Madigan cronies and corruption. It's wonderful high dudgeon, isn't it? Um, those Pauls, they are the Madigan cronies. And so are the suburban voters who sent them to Springfield. And yeah, I'm talking combine. I'm talking Republicans and Democrats. Jim Durkin uh, finally exposed Mike Madigan and his cronies for who they are. The Everyone who fed at the trough and uh, clear shot across the bow of corruption. <laughs> Guys there for 20 years serving as a junior partner to the Irish mafia in charge of the Democratic Party at the time, Madigan and Cullerton. Uh, rr, 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 rr. Finally, there's a come up in. So ethics reform, ethics reform. Yeah, every one of these Pauls, ethics reform, socialists, oh, Byron Siglo Lopez. Uh, whole four people accountable played a role in favoring the wealthy and politically connected. Right. Yeah. Toady for the politically connected. These politically connected. I am one. I know. I can't stand it. Madigan cronies, you are one. Exactly. I'm so upset about it. You know, finally, uh, in Western Springs and Naperville, oh, a reckoning. Oh, we got to root out corruption. Oh, let's send Madigan roll call votes down there to Springfield to root out corruption. That are now Chris Welch roll call votes. And Don Harmon roll call votes. Oh, my gosh. This is, oh, blah, blah, blah. Harumph, harumph, harumph. Yes, yes. What a joke. Honestly, please don't fall for this preening that you're seeing from the political class. And these dumb, dumb voters. Like, unfortunately, I mean, I'd love to, I, I'll, I'll take her at face value, but it doesn't. It doesn't, ex, uh, it is, it's not exculpatory, unfortunately. Oh, the jury, they delivered a blow against the political establishment, now shaken to its core. Wrong. Well, maybe she's part of the process now for the first time, because all the jurors are said that they are going to gather and go to the Madigan trial together to watch it. Because one juror, Wonderful her eyes were trip. opened up about politics and Illinois and corruption. I would say I would speak for the jury when I would say that we want politics to run in a correct manner there are very clear ways that our government should be reviewing and approving legislation um, and also electing our officials and we would really like the government to know that we as citizens all want to see that done in a correct manner without any shady business behind the scenes um, that either skirt the rules or blatantly disregard them. No, you don't. No, you don't. You can uh, lie to yourself, you simpleton, but you don't. And I'm just not going to indulge it. Um, you want how Illinois has been, which is cut me in or cut it out. You want the spoils of war m- m- uh, uh, approach to government because that's what we have. And to all of this... Yeah, this, uh, we want this. I, I know what I'm supposed to say. I, I'm th- that I that good government patois, pound sand. You're a little late to the dance, honey. Sorry. Well, maybe this is her first time in the process. Don't huh? care. What first time in the process? Is she an adult? Do you have to a be? A lot of people don't. They, I don't, they hear this like lobbyists, uh, yeah, corruption, uh, I, paybacks. Ex- excuse me. You don't have to be a juror. 
to know what's going on. We don't want any shady business with, a, okay, well, you go live in Candyland. And come, come. I'm so sick of listening to these pieties, whether they are well-intentioned or not, because, of course, the road to hell or Illinois, a nice stand-in, is paved with all of the good intentions of these willfully blind nitwits like that juror. I, I'm, it, she's infuriating, as, actually, to listen to. Infuriating to me. But I'm I'm I mean, I'm not a nice person like all the people in politics are nice. We elect nice people in the suburbs. Oh, no, they're wonderful. I know. And then they go to Springfield. And what do they do? Oh, right. They do what Madigan tells them to do, except not now because he's bad. Right. She had more to say about uh, yeah, what the jury thought oh. while she was uh, knitting a sweater. Dan. <laughs> We're disappointed with the verdict and we will appeal. We think that. All in all, they're good people that made bad decisions. Yeah. The argument that um, the defense did very well to try to prove that this was all in the normal course of business did not sit well with us. It is the normal course of business, dum dum. It is the normal course of business. And the takeaway from these four uh, people who were convicted, uh, and I'm not by like passing any judgment about them they're just more cogs in this machine they're good people who are compelled oh were they are they not adults like you're not an adult nobody was compelled to do anything you chose these are adults john hooker chose to be the lobbyist for comed for 30 years anna premajori chose to be the ceo of comed jay do uh mike mclean Madigan's right-hand man, he chose to be Madigan's right-hand man, go-to lobbyist, gatekeeper in Springfield for low those many decades. They're good people. No, they're not. And neither are you, juror. Oh, but, but you know, you watch out, Mr. Madigan. We're coming for you. Our perception was that he really did cause this all to, to happen. Um, if it wouldn't have been for him, then... Um, these people would not have been in the position that they would need to 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 commit crimes in the first place. Right. One man got he's the only guy in the General Assembly, Mike Madigan. All those years, he was the only guy down there. I thought we had uh, 118 members of the House and 59 members of the Senate. But apparently I learned from this juror that just one guy. And to the extent he amassed all this power, how do you do that? With opposition from all those legislators you sent down to Springfield, suburbanites? Chicagoans? This is a way to absolve her. This is a way for her to absolve herself and the jury to absolve itself. Just as we've seen in these other corruption trials with governors and other elected officials. We're against corruption. All right, now let's get back to business. We're against corruption. All right, I'm sending the same people down to Springfield. Or putting the same people in City Hall. Putting the same people on the county board. I mean, you want to, again, run this racket? Fine. But not every, not everybody's going to be a pigeon. For more on this, please to be joined by John Cass. JohnCassNews.com. Why are you still subscribing to the Tribune if you are? Cut that subscription immediately. This is one of the areas, by the way, where you can, if I can just quickly go off on a tangent, because I was thinking about this the other day. You know, uh, let's boycott Amazon. Hmm. Yeah, let's boycott uh, these Fortune 10 companies, the big tech companies. How about you show you can do something locally, like eliminate the few remaining subscribers to the Chicago Tribune? Have that thing <laughs> fold up like the dying star that it is. How about you don't go to Boca restaurants in Chicago where they, after the Dobbs decision, they had to you know, donate 10% of your check to abortion mills that Planned Parenthood runs? More willful blindness. I'm so sick of the willful blindness in Chicago and Illinois. It must be why I got out. And so many other people are following right behind me. John Cass, johncastnews.com. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, Dan. I love the uh, open and uh, your earlier discussion as well. Yes, she's she is a, a, a foolish person, but so many people are foolish. It's almost like we're putting on, like... 
were jesters, like medieval jesters in medieval jester costumes, riding backwards on jackasses with Mike Madigan paper mache heads in our, in our, <laughs> in our spears. It's great and visual. we're, we're uh, right, great and visual. we're uh, we're about ready to pronounce that our corruption days are done. <laughs> So pathetic, so bleep and pathetic that uh, I have that shillelagh you saw it, and I feel like clubbing a few people. Now. Yeah. Oh, so oh, so what? You're not uh, super excited. You're not uh, clearing your schedule for the Madigan corruption trial next year when Illinois uh, regains its status as uh, a functioning state, and so on and so forth. Wait, the Tribune just ran, and the other media too held a pity party for Kim Fox just the other day and she was in the pity party and she, I'm not going to take this. You're not, I'm going to stand up to your lies media. And, uh, and meanwhile, people are being assaulted by people that have been released from jail, violent people. And they're just sitting there getting their asses kicked and, uh, they're happy with it. So if they're going to be happy with their physical assaults, uh, why not uh, also be happy with the uh, emotional and financial assault? They, they're the reason why Illinois is corrupt. Oh, I love the voters. The, the, Kim, oh, the voters. The, Kim Fox, oh, the, uh, oh, you know, the, or, or, or if the next city club meeting, it'll be, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the, the Madigan and the Madigan cronies. Uh, oh, pass the chicken oh, yeah. parm. Oh, Jay Doherty. Well, he, I always, I, I never liked the cut of that guy's jib, uh, John. Yeah, I knew Jay, Jay, Jay Doherty was a, a bad egg, a bad egg. Uh, good thing we got rid of him at the city club, so we have restored our good name in uh, the public's mind. Oh, actually, right, sure. Actually, actually, I like Jay Doherty, and I so feel sorry I. for his family. So do I. And, uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm not really too enthusiastic about Mike McClain, though. I'm not worried about him. No, but but, but, here, um, but here, here's the yeah, thing. Here's most of, most well, of them got what was for Jay Doherty? Well, because he because he likes he knows him. He likes. Because I know him. Yeah. Yeah, he was found guilty on all our charges. Do you think he? Should, yeah. Yeah. Well, I can I can actually I can think of two separate ideas at the same time. It's amazing. I think I'm the only human who could do this. Yeah. Right. Well, can, two ideas in my mind. One is Jay was a decent fellow. And I liked him, and he came to visit me when I was at Shirley Ryan in the hospital. The other is, uh, well, you know, if you if you're happy with this, Amy, I'm I'm sorry for you because this doesn't do a jack jack doesn't do doodly squat. Well, what does it mean for, for Matt again? I'm, and why do we have to wait a year for his trial? But that's it's going to be next April, as it stands now, and I'm sure they'll push that back and push it back. Remember that Scotty Lazar, which one was he representing? The uh, former U.S. attorney, I could hear his whiny little nasal uh, voice on the phone. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Who cares? It's all the same. He, said, he stood up and, as prosecutor, said George Ryan was not a target. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, yeah. So, so how's it going to end? Did, wait, didn't, Look, didn't, he, didn't he also, wasn't he the one that penned the letter? Uh, after there was this, uh, that that Mike Madigan is not a, a target of the investigation? Mike Madigan was not a target of the investigation after, know, after the Tribune did this expose on Mike Madigan self-dealing with property tax. Oh, yeah. Business. Yeah, the, I, I 66% think, of all downtown real estate. Yeah, I think, Mike it, I think it was Lassar who, who did, did this unusual thing you know, where you don't, where they never tell you who is a target of the investigation or not, but he actually did like a clean bill of health letter for Mike Madigan saying he's not a target of the investigation. No, I think that's right. Look, the corruption runs deep. I'm not saying he's corrupt willfully, but notice I've learned, I've been hanging around lawyers, I've learned how to address those questions. But, right. you know, he's, uh, he's part of the system. And uh, look, Corruption hasn't won't improve just because Mike Madigan is sent to jail and people shake their fingers at him like their index fingers, like like uh, like the cover of Puck magazine in the 1800s. You know, it doesn't work that way. Corruption doesn't work that way. We accept corruption every day in Cook County. The Tribune endorsed uh, Tony Preckwinkle. 
Kim Fox becomes state's attorney, the the messages get the bleep out, and still they stay, and they vote Democratic in the suburbs. What can I do with with these people? I can't. I can't educate them. I can't. You can't either. Yeah, I, I mean, on the, just on the other side is another illustration of what we're talking about, how endemic this is, this cultural rot, and that's what it is, cultural rot. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ray Lopez, you know, who I'm inclined to like and give the benefit of the doubt, Alderman Ray Lopez on the city council. Yeah. He right. he sponsored a resolution to have Ed Burke Day in the city. I, I'm just like, 50, you know, 50 years of laudable service. You mean 50 years oh, of right. skullduggery mm-hmm. and graft and feather bedding? Uh, Ed Burke Day. Let's all celebrate. Uh, don't, don't Make sure you wear your green carnation on Friday for Ed Burke Day. I mean, this is the psychosis in this place called Chicagoland. Full disclosure, Ed Burke was my lawyer years ago, many years ago. Yeah. In a a criminal matter, I've written about it, but maybe I'll write about it again. Well, what happened? I remember remember he saw that the judge saw him in a crowded courtroom and then personally stopped the proceedings and said, how you doing, Eddie? Oh wow! <laughs> well, 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 the judge was power. Gonna, well, the judge was sitting on the bench I, because of Ed Burke, so of course he's going to yeah, say hi. Exactly. Did you have a bag of cash. It, it was, <laughs> exactly. It was, no, it was, it was like uh, maybe Sam Banks being the, you know, in the courtroom. It was the same idea, thirty-six ward. So you know, they, look, they, look, Madigan was told, and Burke were told by their good friends, and I know they're good friends, and I know what happened. They were pulled aside years ago, and they were told, you've got all the money, you have more money than God. What are you doing in politics? You're just creating yourself as a target. Get out. Retire. You know what Madigan said? What would I do? Right. What would I do? Well, what's he doing now other than Go to your castle in Killarney or Kilkenny, wherever it is. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't really care. Yeah, Where is this mugshot? I, I don't. I don't really care what they do uh, or what they don't do. I. I, I mean, I just. It, they're. They're. It's like they're manifestations of a problem that we won't confront, and this is why I have such disdain for this. I'm sure very nice, well-meaning juror and all the pe- people. All, and, uh, all the people, people. All the people that she represents. She's. Good she's good people. Well, she, she felt she's guilty. A, I think there was a sign of guilt when she's like, she, "They're good people." She's an, yes, yeah, she, she's an avatar. She's an avatar for, uh, I don't know, sixty percent of the electorate in this state, isn't she? I remember writing about uh, the Duffs, who were uh, tough guys connected to Mayor Daly and connected to the Chicago outfit. And uh, when I wrote about them, and they threatened my children. There are people in Western Springs, beautiful Western Springs, who are throwing parties for them, like in support. Like, oh, John, we're going to have a party for them because why do you, why do you, you know, why did you do that? You know, we're going to support them. That's, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. And you wonder why the, the state has gone to hell? Because of people like that, because of the wealthy people on the upper stratus or the upper middle class. They're the ones who are sucking up to the socialists. They're the ones who elected a abomination called Marie Newman to kick out Danny Lipinski. They're the, they're the ones who elected uh, junior partner. What's his name? Durkin. Of course. Of course. And then and all, he, and all he wanted was crumbs. All he wanted was M- Mike Madigan's crumbs. Right. <laughs> Right. And, right. And, and, and then and then they're shocked when somebody else figures out a way to beat them at their own game, like Brandon Johnson and the public sector unions did. It's our time to play spoils of war with your stuff like you played spoils of war with our stuff. And we're supposed to be all uh, indignant like those like the old machine types. No, I don't think so. John Cass, John Cass dot com. John, thanks as always. Appreciate it. You're the best. Thanks, Dan and Amy. Thank you. Thank you, and it's always good to hear from you. And he joined us on our turnkey dot pro answer line. It is now seven a.m. a.m. five sixty W I N D Chicago.
The manhunt is over in Texas. I'm Dave Anthony, Fox News for the Mexican National in the U.S. illegally wanted for murder. I'm not going to say the guy's name. You guys know his name. He's in jail right here. I don't think he deserves the, the glory for what he's what he's uh, done. That's San Jacinto County Deputy Sheriff Tim Keene a short time ago acting on a tip. They found Francisco Oropesa hiding in a house last night under a pile of laundry in a closet, and he's not the only one in trouble. There has been several 